I'll say this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland uh, and this short video is going to detail, it's another video in our series of Excel with, the, with respect to Excel basics uh, and this video is going to detail how to calculate the standard deviation okay, of a data set in Excel using the standard deviation function. Like when we apply it and we calculate the variance using the variance function, there's two variants are just two types of standard deviation that we can calculate. There's one where we assume the data has been taken from a sample, so that's called the sample standard deviation. And there's another where we assume that we have all of the data from a particular population, and that's called the population standard deviation. And in this video, we're going to calculate both of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I'd like to calculate first of all, maybe into this cell, for all of the data set, that's all of the observations that are listed here, I'd like to calculate the standard deviation, uh, assuming this to be sample data. Now, the formula to calculate the sample standard deviation, okay, uh, well, to go into function mode, uh, like in all of our other videos, you hit equals, uh, and then you spell out the name of the function. In this case, it's called stdev, okay, for standard deviation. And you see I have a number of options here. I have stdev.p, stdev.s. So the dot p is to calculate the population standard deviation, and the dot s is to calculate the sample standard deviation. So I'm looking for the sample standard deviation, so the function is going to be stdev dot s for the sample standard deviation, followed by an open round brace, and then we specify the range of values that we want to calculate the standard deviation or the sample standard deviation for. Okay, In this case, from C3 down to G14. Okay, I close off the round brace and I hit return and I get the sample standard deviation here to be, of all of this data, to be 4.76. Okay, say if I want to calculate the population standard deviation of all of this data set, assuming this data to be all of the population. Okay, so what I do is I'll do it in this cell here. I'm going to say this is equal to, it's STDEV, dot p this time for population standard deviation followed by an open round brace i activate i highlight the range of values that i want to calculate the standard deviation on so it's from this cell down to g14 down to this cell here and i close off the brace and i hit return and this has calculated the population standard deviation to be 4.72 for this data set okay so it's actually quite straightforward to calculate either of them uh, types of standard deviation. Okay? So let's apply it across all of our columns. So say if I want to calculate the standard deviation of these values here, okay? uh, well, let's calculate the sample version of it. Okay? So I say this is equal to, it's stdev.s for sample, standard deviation of the sample, followed by an open round brace. And I'll hit the first cell, and I'll drag it down to the last cell here, Okay, and I'll close off the round brace, and that gives me the standard deviation for this data set here, assuming it to be sample data. If I want to calculate the sample standard deviation for all of these columns, well, what I'll do is I'll, I'll just uh, hover over this square button here, this square, see this sort of bold square here in the cell? Uh, I'll click on it, and I'll pull this cursor across to the right-hand side, which will apply that formula to all of them columns, which gives us the sample standard deviation for each one of those columns. If I want to calculate the sample standard deviation for the row of data here, once again, I say equals stdev.s for standard deviation for a sample, followed by a round brace, and I specify the range of values, in this case from here to here. Okay, and I close her off and I hit return, and that gives me the standard deviation for the first row of values. If I want the standard deviation for each row of values, well, what I'll do is I'll apply this function down through this particular column, and that calculates the standard deviation for each one of those rows. Okay, let's do the same thing again, but this time calculate the population standard deviation for each column. So once again, this is equal to stdev.p, open round bracket, I specify the range of values, and I close it off. That's how simple it is to do. And I hit return, and that gives me my population standard deviation. If I want to apply it across, once again, I hover over the bottom right-hand corner of this cell, and I drag it across to the final column that I want to calculate this standard deviation on, and I release, which calculates the standard deviation for each one of those columns, assuming it to be population data.
And finally, to calculate the standard deviation for each row, assuming it to be population standard deviation, we'll do the first one here. I click on the cell. I go into function mode by hitting equals. I spell out the name of the function, which is stdev.p for standard deviation of a population, open round bracket, and I specify the range of values, which is the first row. I close her off, which gives me the standard deviation for the first row. And then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to apply this down this particular column here to calculate the standard deviation for each one of our rows. Okay. Uh, so there you go, guys. Uh, that was that was uh, how we calculate the standard deviation in both cases, assuming the data to be sample data or assuming the data to be population data. Depending on the scenario that you're dealing with, it should be clearly defined whether the data has been randomly selected or selected from some population, or whether the data is all of the values, observations from a particular population. So, guys, once again, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland, and I hope that this video was somewhat helpful and intuitive.